All right, so as far as patterns goes, uh, there's a couple patterns I like. <clears throat> so a lot of these patterns have to do with basing or traps or market structure. And uh, we can just kind of draw it out. But it's a bulldog. I didn't come up with it. It was um, uh, someone from Oasis Trading, Deja Brew. So there's like the tail, pretty much the back leg, the back, uh, and then the head. The head usually rests on the back here. It's a side profile, front foot, back foot, back, tail. Uh, this is the body, and then the head. And it's a, basically a double bottom bull flag. So that's like the first pattern. This is on the three minute. You can see things on the three minute. You can see things on um, the uh, three month. So if we go to um, the robotic revolution portfolio, we could see it beginning to do a, a double bottom bull flag. Uh, robot revolution. Right here. We could see here. If I were to draw it in, here's the tail. Or uh, back. <laughs> there we go. Here's the tail, back foot, back of the body, front foot, and then bull flag or the head. That's it. Double bottom, bull flag. So that's uh, that's a pattern I like because it's similar to Mark Minervini and his uh, style. Mark Minervini is a breakout trader, and he really relies on the cup and handle. Cup and handle looks similar to a double bottom bull flag. Uh, it, it basically is the same thing. It's just relabeled. Um, so the, that's one pattern I like, and then another one is a swing failure pattern. Uh, an example of that would be, uh, maybe we can look at SP500 and find something. But it, it's it's usually seen in all, um, all, all terms of, all forms of price. So it, it's kind of here. Um, I want to pick something that's less, less forced. Uh, I think I have to go down in time frame. <clears throat> okay, um, we can use the week. So a swing failure pattern is very similar to what happened. Let's use this one. This, I'll just get rid of the lines here. It's similar to what happened at the top. So we could invert this. Uh, we can. Uh, I think it can. We can invert this, and then it be the same thing. Invert. So, swing failure pattern is where. Oops, let's see if I can get my line. Is basically where. There's a por portion where the bears or bulls failed to swing lower. So here, the bears, uh, because this is inverted, we're going to say it's the bears. Uh, the bears f failed to swing lower. Instead, it reclaimed and it resumed it uh, or reversed. It reclaimed and reversed. And the same is for like the bears. So this is a a bullish swing, uh, yeah, swing failure pattern to where the bears failed to swing lower. Now, if we earn, invert it back, um, it's the opposite. It's uh, the the bulls failed to swing higher, and this is a deviation, and this is uh, the resistance. And we can see on the week, just the closes couldn't cut it; it just got rejected, and then that was it. And uh, you know, some like to look at a measure from here. Some like to measure it from a little bit lower. So on Bitcoin, there's an example for the pattern to where it stopped like below here. So if we can uh, get to Bitcoin, 
Um, I think I know exactly which point I'm talking about. Um, it was, I think it was here. Um, th this one was weird. Like, uh, it touched this wick here and got rejected here. I, I don't think that's the same thing. But, um, like, one part where I see the pattern is here. It reclaimed here on the weekly and then retested here, held, was able to go higher. But since uh, it couldn't make, it couldn't cut it, swing failure pattern here on the weekly. Deviation, left shoulder, right shoulder, it's basically head and shoulders. And then this pattern canceled out this pattern. And we broke below and uh, for a retest, on the supply uh, candle here. Retest on the supply candle for a rejection down. And that's it. Like the, those are the, the, the two patterns I like. It's the, the, the swing failure pattern pattern. And then it's similar to you know, heads and shoulders. And then the double bottom bull flag it's similar to um, the double bottom bull flag. It's similar to like a, a cup and handle. And then there's this other pattern, which is like a rounding top. And I really don't like that one just because it's so slow and deceiving. I mean, the best way you can see it is like the uh, reversal of, of this, uh, these closes becoming higher to lower and it really just changing regime. And it's really close to a double top, um, kind of bull flag kind of thing or double bottom bull flag. So if we were to invert it, is, is it like a double bottom bull flag? Uh, it's hard to say. Um, if we put it to the daily, What do we see? Okay, this is this is the running top. It's hard to say that this is like a, the double bottom or the bull bulldog. Um, you, know, you would kind of wonder where's the tail begin. I guess the, this could be the tail. This could be the back foot. This could be the back. This could be the front foot, and this could be the bull flag. And it's just, it goes pretty deep into the back, and this back is not really flat here. It's got pretty much a swing failure pattern here that uh, reclaims at this uh, daily low right there. It reclaims, retests, and shoots back up. So it's a little weird. Um, usually the back of these uh, dogs, uh, or the bull bottom bull flag, are flat here but this one's got a swing failure pattern in it. So it's a little difficult to like see what's going on. But um, <clears throat> if we were to just kind of place that line again, it looks like it's a point of contention, a lot of chop here. And then it finally, I guess, does it again. I guess this could be seen as a bulldog here too. Double bottom, uh, and then this is the bull flag here. Um, but it doesn't touch the back, which is like odd. So uh, this rolling top, rolling bottom is like my least favorite kind of uh, tops and bottoms because it's so hard to discern just what's going on. You just you got to look at it from like a range standpoint. Look at look at it from a range standpoint, and then just the weekly highs. Weekly high closes, weekly low closes. Uh, let's re reinvert it back. You just got to take it from, uh, oh, something's going on. Take it from the last uh, resistance point, and then see does it does it uh, you know, break out? Do we retest it? Okay, we close back under. Now it's resistance, and that being it, it then it becomes a swing failure pattern. That's where it becomes a little easier to understand by the weekly is the is from the weekly closes we're able to see okay deviation left shoulder right shoulder done 
and that, that's kind of just the the best way to do it is from the the weekly so that's uh that's my quick tour of just uh the patterns that i like to look at it's the patterns is the easiest part just because um one it's a little more discretionary based and two like uh i i uh uh, it's it's good for confluence if you can see it for a future direction or a reversal and you can make a, a play out of it and profit on the probability of it working out there are no certainties or only probabilities and each of these patterns are pretty much a probability of a certain outcome and uh, that's kind of why they're called plays because it's a possible thing but um that's my video on patterns i don't like to focus only on a bull flag or a double bottom i like the double bottom bull flag and then when it comes to uh head and shoulder i like to look at it on the weekly and it coming from weekly support resistance and uh, the double bottom bull flag is similar to a cup and handle and that one is uh, verified by Mark Minervini who has done 300% in over three years in a row um, so that one's been verified as like a really good reliable pattern as the cup and handle and that's something you can screen for with Finviz and then I mean that's kind of the Mark Minervini template you just, you just screen for that pattern and then uh, the swing failure pattern, that one's a little harder to screen for. You would have to set uh, some unique parameters for a reclaim. Um, I just like moving average channels because the moving average channel, for the most part, can detect uh, semi uh, the a change in pattern to where you can see it better with a moving average channel. So that's my video on patterns is that I like those pretty much two patterns, the swing failure pattern or head and shoulders or the cup and handle or the double bottom bull flag, uh, double top bull flag, uh, bear flag. So that's pretty much the two patterns I like.